Hello everyone. In the topic understand legal and regulatory issues that pertain to information security of domain, one of CISSP we need to understand some more subtopics as information security laws, information security standards. Also we need to have an understanding of how to respond to cybercrime and about international legal framework and also about how to share information about cyber threats. So let's discuss all these one by one. We are starting with the subtopic responding to cybercrime. To respond to cybercrime, one require the knowledge of legal and organizational responses to minimize the impact of cybercrime, so we need to know about the international legal framework. Cybercrime information sharing, best practices to respond and the mandatory reporting and disclosure. So let's discuss about international legal frameworks, such as NATO Article 5, Convention on Cybercrime, or Budapest Convention, Directive 2013-40 EU on Attacks Against Information Systems, US-China Agreement on Cybersecurity. Let's discuss NATO Article 5. This Article 5 binds NATO members to actions in defense of the alliance, if any of them are attacked. And they also included the cyber attack as an event. Let's have a view of the statement of Article 5. And the second one is a Convention on Cyber Crime or Budapest Convention. Budapest Convention address areas as copyright infringement, computer-related fraud and forgery, pornography, and violations of network security. Budapest Convention also gives a set of common standards for the investigation of cybercrime, handling of evidence, and the commitment to provide mutual legal assistance. Let's have some more understanding of it. Next is the Directive 2013-40 EU on Attacks Against Information Systems. In this directive European Union stated, standards for each member state to implement minimum sanctions for attacks against information systems and to increase the coordination between the member nations, law enforcement bodies, and cyber response organizations. And the last one is the U.S.-China Agreement on Cybersecurity. As per this agreement the leaders of both countries agreed not to attack companies based in others' territory solely for economic advantage. There are five key tenets of this agreement. These five tenets are First tenet discuss about the timely responses to requests for information and assistance for malicious cyber activities. Second says that neither country's government will conduct or knowingly support cyber-enabled theft of intellectual property, including trade secrets or other confidential business information, with the intent of providing competitive advantages to companies or commercial sectors. Third, Tenet says that both will make common effort to further identify and promote appropriate norms of state behavior in cyberspace within the international community. As per the fourth Tenet, they need to maintain a high-level joint dialogue mechanism on fighting cybercrime, and related issues. Fifth tenet gives direction to enhance law enforcement communication on cybersecurity incidents and to mutually provide timely responses. With this we are ending this video here, but keep on watching more videos for further information.